Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Gear Guide. Today I will be reviewing the best 18 volt drills under $100. Stick around to see which drill almost won the entire competition but broke in the final round of testing. With so many options, how can you tell which drill is best for you? Every manufacturer claims their drill is the best, and from reading reviews online, it's hard to tell how good one drill is compared to the others. So I tested 10 of the most popular drills on the market today to see which one really is the best. Here are the tests. How many half inch holes each drill could make on one battery charge? Time to drill a one inch hole. Time to drill a two inch hole. Time to sink a lag bolt. How much torque each drill could produce. Time to recharge the battery. And the weight and length of each drill. All drills in the test cost under $100, except the DeWalt DCD777, which was $120. Close enough, I still wanted to include it. The top three drills in the test were all very good, and I would call them all winners. Each one is going to be the best for different tasks. And choosing the top one was not easy, but I had to pick one overall winner, and that drill is the DeWalt DCD777. This is a new drill from DeWalt, bringing a brushless motor to a much lower price point. This drill is the full package with two batteries, quick charger, and a soft case. Dual packs a lot of drill into a small package. For DIYers and lighter duty pro jobs, this is gonna be the best combo of power, weight, and size, and at this price, a really good value. For starters, it's got a brushless motor, so it's very efficient. It was able to drill more half-inch holes per watt hour than any of the other drills. Watt hours is like how many gallons your fuel tank holds. By dividing the number of half inch holes drilled by battery watt hours, you can measure the drill's efficiency. The DeWalt was the most efficient drill at 6.1 holes per watt hour. If you are using the Craftsman at 2.7 holes per watt hour, you would need a battery twice as big to do the same amount of work. Since the DeWalt is more efficient, you can use smaller and lighter batteries. Both the brushless drills in this test were the two most efficient drills, showing just how efficient brushless motors are. The DeWalt was able to drill the second most half inch holes on one battery. The Makita was able to drill more holes because it comes with a single really large battery. In time tests, the DeWalt was third place in the one inch hole test at 2.7 seconds and second place in the two inch hole test at 45 seconds. It was the fourth fastest sinking a lag bolt at 7.2 seconds. In the torque test, it was third behind the Makita and Milwaukee at 510 inch pounds. At 3.3 pounds, the DeWalt was one of the lighter drills and at seven and a half inches in length, it was also one of the shorter drills. The drill feels really great ergonomically and very well built. As a bonus, it has a brushless motor, which should last longer than the brushed motor drills. It was slightly more expensive, but it was the only one of the top three drills to come with two batteries. This drill is the top choice because it performed near the top in every test. In second place is the Milwaukee. This would be a good general purpose contractor's drill. If I was gonna guess which drill would survive falling off a roof onto a driveway, this would be the one. It's got rubber covering all over the body, even the battery. It's got a metal chuck and a metal gear housing. The build quality looks and feels like it is a step above all the others. The Milwaukee is one of the most compact drills at only 7.3 inches in length. This drill has the highest torque at a very strong 714 inch pounds. Torque was so high, in fact, that it broke the adapter bit that I was using for the torque test. Despite the high torque, the Milwaukee didn't win any of the time tests. It was the second fastest in the one inch hole test at 2.5 seconds and tied for sixth place in the two inch hole test at 67 seconds. 
It came in second in the lag bolt test at 6.4 seconds and it had the second fastest charge time at 31 minutes, just behind the Makita at 24 minutes. The battery has a handy gauge to tell you just how much power you have left. To keep the cost under $100, there is only one included battery, but they did throw in this light that works really well, as well as a soft case. All in all, this is a very nice drill. In third place is the Makita. This is the drill that had a shot at being the best overall, but at the very end of testing, it broke. I'm gonna run through the results, then go into what went wrong. The Makita had the highest number of half inch holes drilled thanks to its huge 54 watt hour battery and being the most efficient of the brushed drills in holes per watt hour. It had the fastest battery charging time at just 24 minutes. It has the only charger with a fan, which is probably one of the reasons it can charge so much faster without damaging the battery. It had the second highest torque at 577 inch pounds. It was the fastest in driving the lag bolt at 5.5 seconds. It was the fastest drilling the one inch hole at just 2.3 seconds. It was also the fastest at the two inch hole at 36 seconds. This is a very powerful drill. The drill also feels really solid and well built. This is also the only hammer drill. If drilling into cement is on your to-do list, this would be the best drill for you. It also comes with a really nice hard case. And if that was the end of the test, the Makita would have come in first place. Unfortunately, at the end of the torque test, I could hear that something snapped in the drill. The motor still worked, but the chuck did not turn. I opened the drill up and found that this little metal piece broke. I have mixed feelings on this. On the one hand, the torque test is a very strenuous test, but on the other hand, none of the 20 plus drills I have tested have broken. And I wasn't doing anything I would consider outside of normal use, like throwing it off a cliff. While this is a pretty new drill, all the reviews I have read on the drill are positive, and no one mentioned any issues like the one I had. While most people will probably never encounter this issue, it did happen to me, so I subtracted a point from it in my scoring. And despite this, it still did pretty well getting third place. For some people, this may still be the best drill, especially anybody that's gonna be drilling into cement. In fourth place is the Porter Cable. This is a new drill from Porter Cable and the least expensive of the two brushless drills in this test. The Porter Cable is similar in a lot of ways to the brushless DeWalt, but $20 cheaper and with performance slightly below the DeWalt's in several categories, including length, height, half inch holes drilled, torque, one inch hole and two inch hole drilling speed. The Porter Cable is also not quite up to the look and feel of the top three drills. The plastic feels a little bit cheaper. The Porter Cable does cost less than the DeWalt, so while a good value, I personally would pay the extra money and get the DeWalt. All four of those drills had solid performance. In the rest of the drills, performance falls off significantly in one or more areas. In fifth place is the Bosch. This was the most compact and lightest drill in the test. But if that's what you're looking for, I would go for a 12 volt drill, which will be even smaller and lighter and just as powerful. The winner of the 12 volt drill test was also a Bosch, and that drill was only two tenths of a second slower at the one inch hole test than this 18 volt Bosch. But the 12 volt Bosch was a pound lighter and shorter in length and height. Check out the 12 volt drill test here. The Bosch did have great ergonomics and felt like a really solid drill, but it was lacking in performance across the board. The one inch hole test at 7.2 seconds was towards the bottom of the pack. To see how compact this Bosch is, look at it compared to the Milwaukee. You can see it's 
significantly taller, significantly wider. In sixth place is the Rigid. The Rigid had average performance across the board. The one area it was not so hot is in sinking the lag bolt at a longish 8.7 seconds. The feel of the Rigid was above average, but my favorite feature of all on this is the really cool looking battery gauge. In seventh place is the DeWalt 771. This is the brush DeWalt. This is the older cousin of the DeWalt 777, but it's slightly cheaper, but you do lose a lot of performance. The number of half inch holes drilled is about half. The two inch hole test took 27 seconds longer. The lag bolt took an extra second. It tied with the Hitachi for being the longest in length at 8.5 inches. So while not a bad drill in its day, there are better options now. This shows the advantage of using a brushless motor. Also looking at the two drills side by side, you can see how big a difference in length there is. With the brushless motor, they're able to make this whole section shorter so the overall length is reduced. So that's gonna help you get into tighter spaces. In ninth place is the Craftsman. This was the slowest drill on the one inch hole test and in sinking the lag bolt. One redeeming quality is this is a fairly light drill at 3.1 pounds. This is also one of the cheapest looking and feeling drills in the test. So for that reason alone, I wouldn't recommend it. In 10th place is the Hitachi. This drill had poor performance across the board. Low torque was one of the biggest to stand out at just 270 inch pounds. It was also one of the slowest at the one inch hole test at 7.5 seconds. The next two drills were not able to complete all the tests, but I wanted to quickly mention what they were able to do. The first is the Black & Decker LDX120. This is one of the most popular drills on Amazon and for good reason. It's a pretty good drill for under $50. It completed the one inch hole in just 5.7 seconds. Not bad. To keep the price so low, you do give up several features compared to the other drills, which cost twice as much. The battery charger is a trickle charger, not a fast charger. It takes about three hours to charge the battery. Plus you only get one battery. There is no speed selector on the top, like on the others. This means you can't do tasks that require high torque, like sinking a lag bolt. The motor also overheats doing anything heavy duty, like using the two inch hole saw. I tried to drill using the two inch hole saw and the drill started smoking. If you keep your holes to one inch or smaller, you should be okay. As a light duty drill, this is a really good value. The next drill is the Drill Master by Harbor Freight Tools. This drill is only $20, but you have all the same compromises you had with the Black & Decker. Plus, it also uses a NICAD battery instead of a lithium ion, which all the other drills use. NICADs are larger and won't provide as much runtime. This was really apparent in the number of half inch holes the drill master could make at just 18. Performance across the board was bad on this drill. It wasn't able to complete the one inch or two inch hole test. It had only 89 inch pounds of torque, but it's only $20 and you get what you pay for. Thanks for watching. Check out the 12 volt drill review if you want a lighter, more compact drill. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also leave a comment if you have any questions.